If you're constantly searching for the best free note-taking app, you can stop your search right now. It's easy to get swept up in overcomplicated productivity and digital second brain systems, but luckily, if you're an Apple user like me, you already have the best note-taking app on your iPhone and it's called Apple Notes. Apple Notes is free and it's on your iPhone, desktop and iPad and it's quietly been getting some awesome updates across iOS releases which have turned it into the most powerful note-taking app out there. Initially, I used to be one of those people who started with Apple Notes and thought that it was pretty basic. So I then proceeded to try out all kinds of other note-taking apps like Evernote, Obsidian and Notion. However, thanks to a ton of new updates, I've realized that Apple Notes is the best bet for iPhone and Mac users and I'm back to using it consistently to capture and store information. So in today's video, we'll be walking through all of the possibilities that exist within the Apple Notes app across iOS and macOS, what you can do with it and how to get the most out of Apple Notes. I'll be sharing some cool, interesting tips and tricks along the way, so do make sure you stay tuned right to the end of today's video. So hit that subscribe button and let's jump into my Notes app on my Mac and my iPhone. So when you open up your Notes app, the first thing you'll most likely see is your folders of notes. As you can see here, I have a few different folders, but you can have as many folders as you like. At first glance, you can see your shared notes, that's notes that you shared with other people. So I've tried to be super transparent here, and as you can see, I've organized my notes across my businesses, and then I also have my personal folders like book notes, vacation plans, to-dos, and then quick notes and smart folders, which we'll look at a little a bit later on in this video. So to begin with, making a new folder is really easy. All you need to do is to go to the bottom left and tap and now you've got a new folder. However, one really clever feature here, which I've only recently been using properly, is the ability to create and manage folders using smart folders. So when you go to smart folder, you can actually have a few different conditions for what should be in that folder. For example, let's say you added a tag for workouts, and maybe you have different workouts for different days, and you have different notes within each. You can just add the hashtag workouts to any of those notes, and then you can have them all automatically organized into that workouts folder, which is pretty awesome and saves me loads of time when I'm trying to organize everything that I capture. You can also sort your notes out by using things like date created. For example, you can organize them based on when you last created them, when you edited them, when you shared them, when you mentioned them, and whether they're checklists or they've got attachments within them. This is really good because it makes it so much easier to find the specific notes that I want. You can also make a folder within a folder in the Notes app. To do that, it's pretty simple. Once you're in a folder like I am here, you can just right click on desktop, or go to the top right on mobile and hit the add a folder button. And then you can easily add a new folder within that first folder. Now, I tend to have ideas or capture information when I'm on the go across both desktop and mobile. And Apple Notes syncs up really nicely through iCloud. On mobile specifically, there are some really powerful features that pretty much kill off any other note-taking apps out there. So let's look at those next. So when you enter into the Apple Notes app from your home screen on mobile, you'll see a bunch of formatting tools along the bottom. The first one here gives you the ability to add and delete a table if you need to. And there are a bunch of ways that you can use tables and notes to organize everything you've stored. And that's not all. The features of the app allow you to format your table as well. We can use the formatting toolbar here to do lots of different things, like adding in titles, headings, subheadings, body text, and even newer features like monospacing, as well as go through things like bold, italic, underline, and quick bullet points if you need them. There's also the checklist option that I use quite a lot here too. And this allows you to add things to a checklist, and I use this for things like mapping out quick to-do lists when I'm on the go, and I can then tick them off, and when things are ticked off, it moves to the bottom of that checklist. So let's say, for example, I needed to do some food shopping or plan out my day the night before. I often just quickly go through and add checklist items as reminders and then tick them off. Personally, I use the checklist myself when it comes to making sure that I've got all the items that I need for my weekly shop or to plan out critical tasks for my day. I try and avoid making huge, inefficient, unprioritized lists of to-do items and try and limit any daily goals or tasks to around two to three that then move me towards my weekly goal. 
Now, the next feature is one of my favorites and one that I use all the time. It's the scanning tool using the camera tool that's built into Apple Notes. As an example, I'm gonna take this passage from the British Medical Journal. Of course, we can choose to add a photo, but using the scan documents or the OCR text scanning function, it's the most useful in my opinion. We can hold our phone over the document just like this and it will scan in the document and then add it straight into our note. The cool thing here is that we can either just grab the text and convert it into editable text, which was the original killer feature I loved with Evernote, or we can just scan in the document as a whole and then select the size of its appearance from the menu in the top right, which is great if you want to keep things minimal or you want the option of a full-size picture in a specific note. Now, uploaded PDFs can also be highlighted and edited too, which I find really useful for editing and optimizing PDFs on the go, especially if you're sent something that needs a quick edit or a signature. I think this is just one of the most brilliant features out there, and I've been able to use this a lot for things like scanning my driver's license and my passport for when I need to add documents to forms and stuff like that. I also use it sometimes to scan random documents that I need to send via email. I put it in and then scan it, and then I can just long tap on the document from my notes and then share that with whoever or however I like. Also, if you have a bunch of notes and you have documents in there, you can actually use the search function to search for text within a specific document. For example, in the document I scanned in earlier, we could search for a specific search term or word, and then the Notes app will actually scan that individual document, which is really helpful if you're uploading lots of documents like you might be if you're creating study materials or uploading your class notes. Now, one area of note taking and productivity where Notion has had the upper hand for quite a long time is the ability to link notes together. Well, Apple Notes now has that too. I've been using this to make tables of notes and to link a note to a note, you just need to select a word and then go to link and then search for the note you want to link to. You can then decide whether you want to use the name of the note you're linking to or the word that you've selected. And you then can just jump to that note by clicking the link in your original note. These features have made my life so much easier and I think you should check them out too. But there's a couple of other cool features that make note taking so much easier for you on mobile and it's the pen tool. The pen tool here can be used to draw anything you like in Apple Notes. It also has this interesting feature where, I'm not sure if you've actually noticed it, but you can basically draw a shape roughly and have notes try and figure out what you're trying to draw. So for example, I'm gonna draw a simple square here freehand in my Notes app on iPhone and if I keep holding things down without releasing while I'm drawing, it'll make the square perfect for me. This is really useful and it can be used to do things like mark documents or do whatever else you need to do. And there are a ton of pen types and color options, which is especially great on iPad with an Apple Pencil if you enjoy sketching and doodling. Now, for me, like a lot of people, my digital notes act like a second brain, which is somewhere I can quickly capture and store information, and I can then come back to that later. One of the issues with second brain or productivity systems is that they can get overly complicated with file syncs or pulling in content from things like Readwise or podcasts. Now, on mobile and desktop, Apple Notes has a quick capture option that allows you to quickly capture any information you might come across. On desktop, you can save anything, whether it's a website, email, document, or just anything by using the share button. On mobile, it's even simpler, with Save to Quick Notes an option on the iOS share menu. And here's a little hack that makes things even faster for capturing your thoughts. On iOS, what I've done is I've actually added a quick note button to the control center on iPhone. And the control center, if you don't know, is that little menu that you swipe down from the top right. Now, to add this yourself, you just need to head over to your settings area. When you get there, you can scroll down and go to control center. And as you can see here, you'll find the quick note option and make sure it's added and selected. Once you've added that to your control center, as you can see, you can then quickly just add a note without actually having to go to the notes app itself. And you can also add regular notes from here too by long pressing on the Notes app from your home screen. Now, while we're here, another great hack to speed up note taking on iOS is to add a widget to your home screen. To do so, you just need to long press anywhere on the home screen and then select Edit Home Screen and then hit the plus button in the top left. You can then search for the Notes widget and there are a couple of cool options from having a folder visible on your home screen to showing an individual note or having the Quick Notes option directly accessible from home. So once we've captured information, Apple Notes also has some really nice accessibility features that help us to store our notes and share them with others and take action with the information we're storing. 
For example, if you have a note that has sensitive information in it, you can actually lock it using your Face ID. To do so, I just need to select a note and go to the lock icon here, and I'm gonna lock it just like this. After that, you'll be asked to enter your passcode, and once you've entered that passcode, you can just enable Face ID to secure your note in the future. Another great feature the Notes app has here is that you can share notes with other people who have the Notes app. If I press the share icon at the top here, I can then send a copy or collaborate, and then I can share that with anyone that I need to. With the Notes app, you can also pin a note if you want to, which is especially useful if it's a note that you're accessing regularly. I do that all the time with keynotes containing things like business information or anything I use regularly. And all you have to do to do this is to hold it down and now you can pin the note and it will appear at the top of your table of notes in the app. In terms of more general accessibility features, the Apple Notes app still takes the lead above everyone else. For example, a lot of people don't realize that you can actually swipe on notes to do a couple of different things. For example, you can swipe right to pin a note or left to share it, organize it into a folder or delete it without actually having to go directly into the note all just through swiping. Now, while Notion has become more of a project management productivity tool, Apple Notes remains a simple yet powerful dedicated note-taking app that syncs across your iCloud account, and most importantly, it's completely free with Apple products. Now, I hope you guys have all enjoyed this video. For me, Apple Notes is simple and minimalist, and now it also has some super powerful features that have been rolled out over the last few iOS and macOS updates. I have a great video looking at my own productivity systems that I'll pop up over here, which is well worth diving into if you want to get the most out of your note taking and your time. Thanks so much for watching till the end of today's video and for subscribing, and I'll catch you again next time. See ya.